uh, hi all mm, my name is abani and today i will discuss about java enterprise 6 edition features and uh, we'll focus on uh, develop, developing ejb applications uh, inside along with our web applications one of the one of the great features java 6 has got is uh, you don't have to create a separate ejb project uh, um, to have the ejb modules we can integrate the ejps inside our web applications uh, that is you you don't have to have a ejb project separately uh, created and expose your ejb and uh, access them in servlets or in gsps uh, so that that features has been added in java 6 i'll give you a demo how how it is being done and how it works and how easily we can access ejps from a servlet or jsf based uh, programs Uh, so to get started, I have my Eclipse IDE and I have used uh, Glava, uh, Glassfish 3.1 uh, server. Uh, since uh, we are uh, uh, working on EJB project, so we have to use any Glass uh, any EJB 3 compliant uh, server. Uh, so I have used Gla Glassfish 3.1, which is an EJB 3.1 compliant and Java Enterprise 6 compatible server. So to get started, uh, let's create a project. file new dynamic web project as i told you in the dynamic web project only we will create uh, the servlets and djbs alongside uh, i'll choose my runtime as glassfish 3.1 so project name i can give say djb web uh, if you want to specify to a er file uh, this project if you want to attach this project to er file or check it uh, unless you you don't have to do that click on next next and see this this generate web.xml is not required now since everything is anderson based uh, we can omit this now click on finish now this id will take some time few time to create the process structure and all so the default index of jsp is created now i'm just going to use the navigation structures in my ejb web i have web content under that i have web inf meta inf the source folder okay um now let's get started with uh this eclipse indigo id is a very highly integrated id which come uh, which is compatible with uh, java enterprise 6 and glassfish so directly i can create new session ben ejb 3x uh, which will prompt me for um, uh, uh for uh, the ejb name sorry the source name and all से जहाँ पे कहते हैं कॉम डॉट इजे बी वेब डॉट इजे बीस क्लास नेम से लेट से हेलो बिन आई शुड हैव ए स्टेटलिस्ट स्टेटलिस्ट बिन नाउ इन माय लोकल एनवायरनमेंट वेयर द इजे बी विल बी इन बुक बाय ए सर्वलेट एंड और ए जे एस एफ पेज If I know this, my requirement is clear. I don't need any remote or local interface. I just click on No interface and click on Next. Then transaction type your bin transaction is maintained by container bin. Now let it be container as of now. Click on Finish. So it has created uh, a bin class. Uh, now this is the default constructor you can see. My class name is Hello Bin and the default constructor is created here. and you can see this, this is the most important thing uh, whenever you annotate any class with stateless so it it becomes an becomes an ejb and since we are not going to look up for anything and directly we'll inject this ejb uh, uh, we don't need any mapped name mapped jndi name uh, in my um, next thing next when i create a servlet i'll show you how to inject this ejb now let's say create a method public string greet name say i should return it i'll just return this name string hello from ejb3 slash java6 plus name now this is is created 
now to invoke this and verify it i'll create a servlet over here let's say the same package i'll say jb web i'll have a new servlet package i'll change to servlets then class name is this i'll say invoker in, in my previous slide or video i have described about uh, how to um, create a servlet in java 6 uh, those those servers are servlet 3.0 compliant servers so we need only annotations so those entries will not find in web.xml because web.xml is a is not a mandatory file as of now i'll just click on click on next the url is mapping so i'll give a simple one slash invoke click ok next finish now as we know the do get i will write everything in the do get method again i'll show you the structure over here <coughs> this is the invoker servlet it says annotated with a uh, web servlet and uh, it has two urls pattern uh, invoker servlet and invoke now let's go back to the do get method here what i have to do before that i'll do something I'll now java enterprise 6 has something called <coughs> annotations at the rate ejb uh, so which means when i do that and uh, after that i have to give the ejb name so in my case my ejb name is hello bean so whenever i'm going to give a private at the rate ejb hello bean and instance name so you can see this ejb so which tells the next object is an ejb okay so i don't know to create an instance of it uh, so the container will do injection of this uh, ejb into my servlet class <coughs> now say i'll create a string string say message equal to hello bin dot greet you can see this message name then i'll have this now i want to print this message so this must start get writer dot print Now I'm done with done with the development of uh, this uh, invoker sub the servlet in the EJB. Now let's save them all. Now let's publish these and run the applications. So I have already I have started my classes 3.1 server already. This is uh, we need to run the application, deploy and run. So I'm going to choose classes 3.1. Then my web project is in. Now I can click on finish. So this is my JSP or <coughs> the default JSP whatever given. Now let's invoke the servlet. Now as you can see this message, uh, this is being captured over from here. So this is the written type of my EJB. And when I did this, this in, uh, this line, what it does, the container will create an instance of the EJB and provide to the servlet. So this is called EJB injection inside servlet. So this kind of code we can use in servlets or uh, JSPs. So you want to change anything here? Java 6.0. Let's save it. So it's at auto deployment. It's faster deployment in glasses. So let's refresh this page. So you got the response over here. You want to build again. You don't have to deploy it again. This ID in glasses has a very good features of uh, faster deployment and. Uh, faster syn synchronizing okay. so this is all about uh, ejb3 example in uh, java 6 um, so you can see i i don't have to create an ejb uh, separate ejb project uh, to have my ejbs i can have ejbs in my same web applications uh, only only condition is uh, my server needs to be a ejb compliant server
Okay. Thank you all.